What up, Melvin7 here. Today I'm bringing you Hybrid Leagues, the new advanced squad building challenges that did drop today. I've already done Hybrid Nations. There will be a link in the description if you want to go and see that one. But anyway, this one is very similar to the very first one at the start of FIFA, but uh, they've changed some of the requirements and all that for the advanced ones. But five league hybrid is going to be the first one we're doing. Five leagues is needed, which is kind of obvious. Uh, players from the same league, a maximum of three. Minimum team rating is 67. So you could use a full silver team as long as all the players are over 67. Then you'll be fine. Uh, most, well, half of my team is silver, as you can see. You need five rare players, no more, no less. So that is another constraint to watch out for and a minimum team chemistry of 80 so you don't need loyalty bonus on these you can do it exactly as i have but uh it might drive certain players up so i'll show you what i've kind of done so i've got this uh lonergan uh goalkeeper rawson and uh goldson as the center backs now they're all english and they're all from the championship so there's one nation done uh, and there's one league done, so I can't use the championship anymore. So we move on to the Premier League, and we've got Galloway, another silver. I don't think he's too expensive. Um, let's have a quick look. Be careful not to list him, right? Come on. Yeah, there you go. Like, he's, he's chips. He really is. And then we've got Danny Simpson on the other side again. I'll check his price. Now, the championship players, I'm actually going to check because there's obviously the Aston Villa thing. Well, he's untradeable, so I can't actually check him. But how much is he, just to make sure... Yeah, there you go, 500 coins, like, really, really cheap. The maximum this team should cost you is 10k. Like, seriously, I'm, I'm showing you there, like, 400 coins is ridiculous. So, the other Premier League player we've got is Jesse Lingard, so that means three Premier League players, three Championship players. I can no longer use them. Jesse Lingard, you're going to be able to pick up for under 1,000, as you can see there. Then, I've got a League 1 player, and what I've done, I've used Italians for the rest of it. Now, I need three more leagues because I've already got the Championship and the Premier League. So, I've got one League One player here. He's untradeable, Thiago Mata, but you can pick him up for under a 1,000. Sometimes it's better to use the higher rated rares because they're getting packed so often that even if 100, 200 people watch this video, go out and copy it exactly like I have, there's going to be way more than 200 players, so it's not going to drive the players up if you're buying a Thiago Mata. He's still going to be under a 1,000. Like because there are so many getting packed, which is why I try and get some higher rated players in there because they go for sometimes a lot cheaper than the non rares because there's just not as many of them. But anyway, we've got League One there, so we move over to another Italian in a different league, and it's going to be Liga Santander. We've got Vasquez again, you can pick him up for 1500 max, I would imagine, and then we've got Martella. We're moving into Calcio A. And uh, the two strikers are both Calcio A as well, and they're both Italian. So, all right, maybe he's not a good one to use because there's only one on the market. So I'm going to change him up right now. So, uh, yeah, I, I don't want to be using anyone like that. So I might as well use Bonaventura, to be perfectly honest. Like, he's untradeable for me. I know for a fact because I've seen him on the market. He's about 1,000 again. And then the two strikers we've got are Immobile and Quaglieri. So we are going to submit that. That would cut... Oh, wait. Oh, that puts an extra rare player, so uh, yeah, fuck sake. So I'm going to have to change and put a non-rare player in there. Now, this side, I don't think it really matters. I could just put Luis Adriano. Yeah, it still gets the chemistry because of the Italians and everything. So yeah, even if you were to do what I've just done and pick Bonaventura and Luis Adriano and you didn't have them pack pulled, you would get 85 chemistry, which is still fine. So we're going to submit that. And uh, yeah, that's that one done. We get a premium gold players pack for that. Moving on to the seven league one. Now, what I've done for this, very, very simple. Picked Argentinian players because all you need is seven leagues, but it doesn't specify how many nations. You also can only use three players from the same league. So I've picked Argentina as a nation because they have so many players in so many various leagues. So we've got this Carrizo, Fainter Milan. So that's obviously Calcio A. We've got another Calcio A player there in left wing. Uh, we've got a striker from the Bundesliga, Argentinian. Then we've got one from the Liga Nos, one from uh, Liga Santander, the Mexican League, uh, the Argentinian League, which, you know, was kind of obvious. Another one from the Argentinian League. And then, I'm not actually sure what that is, but Camp Scotia Bank. Uh, is that Colombian League, I think? It might be, but anyway. And then Liga Santander again and uh, Premier Division. So it's very, very easy. You just need to pick a nation. Make sure there's seven leagues there and uh, that you've got no more than three 
from the same nation, but you do need a minimum team rating of 78. So try and get some, you know, I've, I've got an 80 rated rare here who's evidently gonna go for like 650 coins. Basically his discard, same as Salvio. Uh, they're untradeable. A few of these players are untradeable because they're in my club. I've also got an 81 rated um, and there you go like 850 coins these are cheaper than the non rares most of the time so you only get a 15k pack for that this entire team that i've built around 7k again like you could probably get it cheaper if it's on open bid so on to the nines and this is very similar to the last one except you can only have two players from the same league and you need nine leagues so i've went with another common nation and that's going to be brazil and uh, yeah, as you can see, we've got Neto there in goal, who obviously plays in Calcio A. We've got a Liga Nos player there. We've got um, the K League, because uh, Adriano plays there. He'll uh, be a common one to use. MLS with Kaka, uh, the Ukrainian League for Bernard. Uh, we've got the Russian League with Machet, I can't pronounce it, Luis Gustavo, Bundesliga, who uh, is again one of the cheaper players. I think one to two K, uh, absolute max for him, and he's 83 rated, because you do Oh no, actually you don't, you can use any. So I thought there was a rating thing, but no, literally they just have to be gold, of course. Uh, then we've got Danilo, who is, uh, if I can get it, Calcio again, Liga Nos, uh, and I think I'm going the wrong way, Eredivisie, Super League. So yeah, there's just an abundance of Brazilians and you just need to pick nine leagues. And there's so many of them, so we're just gonna submit that. Very, very easy, a jumbo premium gold pack which i think is a 15k pack again and then we'll move on to starting 11. right now the last challenge again i'm using brazil and this is one of the only nations you can there might be other ones but it's hard finding 11 different leagues where these brazilian players are so some players are getting price fixed now this is out for 41 days there is no rush to complete this i'm doing it for youtube purposes of course i want it out as soon as possible get a solution out there but for instance, I've literally had to spend 8,500 on this guy because Calcio A, Brazilian right mid, it's not because he's from Calcio A, it's because there's not that many Brazilian right mids. There's another one in the K League, I think, who's again getting price fixed for roughly this. There's other players that I've had to over, uh, pay for, like Neto, 4,000 because he's from the Belgian Pro League. Um, this guy, Otaveo, 3.2k from uh, the Liga Nos. Uh, but a lot of them are pretty cheap. Some of them I had in my club. And also noted, if you follow this exactly and you've only got 99 chemistry, that's because you need the loyalty bonus. So FIFA 17, no loss glitch into YouTube. Type it in and you'll find an easy video on how to complete 10 games within 20 minutes. And that'll give you the extra one chemistry point that you may require. Anyway, some of the other players that I bought, um, some, some I've packed, of course. But we've got 11 leagues in here, as you can see. And uh, I think... They were the most expensive players are. This goalkeeper as well because he's from the Mexican league. So any Brazilians that are from obscure leagues, I would sell them now and then focus on doing this later in the uh, you know 41 days that you've got to complete. But that's how I've done it with the Brazil players again. It is really, really easy challenge. But because people know it's easy, they're going to price fix these players. As you can see, I've had to overpay. So if you were to build this right now, this team would probably cost around... 40,000 which is kind of stupid like it, it's a discard 5k team that probably 30 40,000 because of all the other players you're gonna have to buy so I'm gonna submit that all in all this is the only one that really costs a lot uh, the other ones you can easily escape some of the expensive players and get a really cheap one so the rest of it should cost you no more than 20k but that last one will say 40k so 60k for all four of them as of right now which is still worth it to be fair because of all this. If I can get more than 60k, which is theoretically what I've spent, of course a lot of the players were in my club, but if I were to spend that, I would need to get 60k or more back from these packs that I'm gonna open for it to be worth it for me. So the first one is just a premium gold pack. That's a 7.5k pack, so I'm not really expecting anything in there. We get a non-rare, but of course we could get some Brazilians who might actually get us some of the money back. We unfortunately don't, but there is a shadow chemistry style there, so we're going to store that all in the club, and uh, we're going to send Jack Kolb uh, to the uh, the trade pile, just in case there's another squad building challenge that requires Newcastle players at some point. So, I've got a 15k pack here, Let's see what we get in this, that's not a very good flair, centre-back, Ron Vlaard, no, it's Devry. 
so that wasn't great but there could be something else in the in the thing you never know uh, doesn't look as though there's anything we're getting a few of the players back that I use so we're just going to store all that in the uh, club sent debris to the transfer list move on to the next one uh, I think in terms of pack value you get roughly around about 100k pack value of course it depends what you get in the packs if it's worth it that's a decent flair oh my god okay Mares. not sure what he goes for but uh, I will take that 85 rated. He certainly goes for over 30k, I think. Well, I say certainly, but I, I'm, I'm fairly certain he does. Yeah, well, I was bang on pretty much. Literally around about 30k. So, so far, I've probably got, if I was to discard everything, plus Mares, I'll say 40k back. And I've still got two packs left. So, uh, that's pretty good. Yeah, these players don't really go for anything. No point checking that, Rodolfo. Which is good for you guys, I suppose. 1,000 coins as well. So, we're going to say I roughly got about 40,000 minimum back. If I were to send everything... Uh, sorry, sell everything that I did have or discard it. And we've still got two more packs. So, uh, we just need to make that remaining 20,000. And we've got a 25k pack here. I would love it to lag, but it didn't. But that's another big flare. Striker, another 85 rated player. Cavani doesn't go for anywhere near as much as Mares, however. But that is a very good player to get. We also get Mosondu back. Who's our other rare? Unfortunately, of course, it had to be a silver. So we'll just store all that in the club. And since I've already got Cavani, I will check how much he goes for. Probably 5k, just under 5k. So through discards again with that. If I were to discard it, I'll say... 10k, I would, I would easily be able to get 10k from that, so that's 50k back, we've still got this one prime players pack left, that's shit flare, which is very, very disappointing, and uh, we get Consiglio there, 83 rated, come on, is there anything else in this pack? That's, that's unfortunate to be honest, still if I were to discard it, you know, plus all the other ones and sell these eventually, I'm, I'm pretty sure if I were to thoroughly go through, sell all the consumables that I had, everything else, I would have broke even on that. And, uh, oh, 15k packs. But, um, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure I would have at least broken even, and that was with me overpaying. When these players eventually go for nothing in two, three weeks' time, and this challenge is still there, you'll easily be able to get all of these squads done for 30k max, and you'll, you'll easily get that just through discards from the pack. So, in my opinion... It's worth waiting, do the other three, then leave the 11 league one until a later date, and then do it. And uh, yeah, you should be fine with that. So hopefully you have enjoyed, subscribe if you haven't already, like the video, and yeah, peace.